Carboxylic acids are acids, so they'd have pH less than 7, and they have a COOH group at the very end of it. And it's always at the very end, so you don't have to mess with any of those numbers for the carboxylic acid groups and where it's found. Always found at the end, so it's always found at the first position. Now, that means then that a COOH, well, the H must come off of it and dissociate in solution, and it does so rather weakly, to be able to have organic, to, for us to have organic acids. And organic acids are ones that have COOH, carboxylic acids. H comes off, dissociates to a weak acid extent, and would have a Ka value. Now, what does that make this right here? One, two. There's two, so it's ethane, drop the E, add oic. So this is an oic acid, so it's called ethanoic acid. And by the way, if you have a 3% solution of that or so, you got yourself vinegar. So that's what that smells like too, by the way. So that's CH3COOH, and you've used that formula a thousand times. And so now you know that common name is acetic acid, because it used to be the acetyl group that, makes, that constituted CH3CH2. Now, that's just, so we just call it, instead of acetyl or acetate, we say ethanoate or ethanoic acid, two carbons long, ethanoic acid. And what would this be right here with an H on it? Well, that's methanoic acid. You can't drink methanoic acid, that's also called formic acid, and when ants bite into you, they actually inject into you a poison, which is methanoic acid. By the way, that's where form, formic acid is what it was called, uh, and now it's called methanoic acid, but from the word formica, which means ant, ant acid. But an ant acid is actually a base, which neutralizes your stomach acid. Okay, I go off. But here's the thing, what would you call this thing right here, and that's one of the most complicated ones that I can come up with right now anyway, and don't worry about the carboxylic acids, they ain't that, that ain't that mixed up. Methanoic, ethanoic, propanoic, butanoic, oh my goodness, butanoic acid is the worst smell on the planet. So that chemical right there, butanoic acid, which would be four carbons long ending in that, oh, it's just hideous. It, it, it smells like, 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 should I say it? It smells like you threw up cheese that was fermenting in your stomach for hours. Oh. Now, this one would be called what? Two carbons long. So it's an eth, an ethane. Drop the E, add oic acid. But no way, there's two oic acids. There's one at this end, one at this end. So it would be ethane, yeah, I keep the E now, dioic, di, di, yeah, dioic acid. So that's ethane di... Oh, well, wait a minute, sorry, you don't have to put a hyphen in there because there are no numbers, remember? So it's just ethane dioic acid. Now, hey, oh, by the way, there's a common name for that. H-O-O-C-C-O-O-H. That's called oxalic acid. Cool.